everyone, welcome back to Tattered Stitch Embroideries. Today we figured it would be a good opportunity to do a tutorial for our Farm Fresh Pumpkins Hot Pad with Acorn Felty. Hope you enjoy. So first I wanted to let you know I'm using a medium weight cutaway stabilizer. I've gone ahead and hooped my stabilizer and now I'm going to run my placement stitch. If you have Inselbright, I would recommend using a layer of Inselbright for the hot pads. I'm using batting right now for this tutorial. Um, and the next step is laying down the batting and then working on my tack down stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so I just wanted to show you that I trimmed away the batting after I tacked it down. Now I'm laying my fabric down and I'm actually using a flower sack towel and I cut it up. I absolutely love this fabric. I find that it, um, it just, it's just really beautiful to embroider on. So that's what I'm using for my main design. And now I'm going to run my tack down on my fabric and then I'm going to start embroidering up the pattern. So at this point, I have tacked down my main fabric. Um, I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm not gonna trim any of the fabric away at this point because later on, when we're ready to add our backing, we're gonna do envelope style. And I'll show you what that is uh, once we're ready. So I'm just gonna get right into stitching out the main design of the pattern. Okay, so we have embroidered the main design of our pattern. Um, you'll notice this blue stitch mark right here. Please ignore that. I wasn't paying attention to my machine and I let it get ahead of where we are in the process. Now that my main artwork is embroidered, I'm going to run a placement stitch here at the top for my ribbon to go down. And then once uh, the placement stitch is done, we're going to attach our ribbon and tack that down and then we'll get ready for the back panel. cut my ribbon to about three inches in length. I folded it in half. I left about an inch or so of overlap um, toward the center of the pattern and about, I'm going to say about a half inch or so of overlap um, to the edge of my pattern. So when I stitch it down, I'm going to have a nice amount of um, overlap over the edge, which will ensure the fact that it won't fall out at a later date from use. So now we're going to work on adhering the back panels to the front panel, creating an envelope style opening. Um, so what I did is I cut two pieces of fabric large enough to fit my um, pattern and I'm working with the 6x6 six six inch pattern right now. I am overlapping them so that the centers and the folds right here kind of overlap. Um, and I'm going to start by placing one panel so it's good side face down with the flap folded out and you'll see that it's overlapping toward the center of my pattern and I'm going to tape that down and then I'm going to do the same thing for my second panel of fabric and I'm going to make sure that they overlap in the center by about a half an inch or so. And I just cut my panels of fabric large enough to cover my 6x6 six six inch pattern. And you're going to want to do the same for any size that you're working on. Just make it a little bit bigger than, than your um, pattern size. So I'm going to tape everything down. And then we're going to tack it down. And it will be ready for trimming and pulling right side out once it's done. ready. Now if you want to you can trim away all the stabilizer. For the purpose of this video I'm not going to do that. 
so I have finished turning it inside out. I have kind of pressed with a, with a little bone folder, which is this tool right here. I've kind of pressed it flat, my edges, and um, project is complete. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.